Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Justin's Fish Room. And today we're going to be doing something completely different to what I usually do with rams. I actually went and bought myself um, a colony of, a breeding colony of calico bristlenose catfish. So, for those of you who don't know what calico bristlenose catfish are, they're basically a common bristlenose catfish with little yellow splotches all over them. They're really cool. Um, so they're the first uh, different type of plecos I'm going to get for this tank. Now you're going to say, oh, well you said you were going to get L number plecos for this tank. I am eventually. I just, I'm not willing to put the L number plecos, the really expensive ones, in this tank yet. I would rather test it out with some more common um, plecos first and see how they go. Um, in saying that though, this tank is fully cycled. As you can see, it's crystal clear. I have some plecos in there already. Uh, these guys are just three males and three females, really large. I'll show you in a sec. Um, and I just wanted to, I guess, start breeding them just for the fun of it. So, and also bring you guys along for the ride. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what these guys look like and we'll get into the video. Okay, so at the moment they kind of look like just common bristlenose catfish. But you can see kind of some yellow splotching. Sorry for the glare. Um, it's really hard to do this through the bag, but let's see if I can get them. Now nah, this is going to be pretty impossible. You can kind of see through the bag though, but um, they're really massive. So like that's my hand. Let's just get it to focus. That's my hand, and these guys are pretty big and apparently have been breeding heaps. So you can see there's a male there, female, female. So there's three males, three females, and this is their tank for now. It's got a heap of um, 90 degree cut slate or granite or whatever it is um, with a piece on top, some PVC pipe, a nice piece of uh, soaked redwood, some kambomba obviously you guys know. Um, if you watch my channel a lot you know that I'm a huge advocate for this plant just because of how good it is. And also very happy with pothos ivy growing off the top. I have pothos ivy pretty much everywhere now so that's really good. But hopefully these guys should breed and then I can do a bit of a breeding video with them. So let's get them uh, acclimated. Okay, so I'm just using the bag that they gave me, which was a big sandwich bag, uh, which is okay. I mean, it held the water nicely. Um, and now that they're in the water, you can really get a good idea of the calico or calico, depending on where you're from, um, kind of mutation on these guys. And as you guys know, I have some super red bristlenose growing out, some lemon blue eye short fins, and I've got obviously the, the common and the albino as well. So these guys are just, you know, to keep, keep the hobby interesting for me, I love breeding plecos. They're just really, really a whole new kettle of fish. And um, yeah, just really looking forward to breeding these guys and showing you guys bringing them out of um, the cave and having hundreds of eggs or hundreds of babies. I'm really excited for that. Um, I'll show you actually a recent spawn from my albino plecos okay, So it's going to be quite hard because they're very small, but all those little white things on the glass are little baby albino bristlenose fry. I recently put some mulberry leaves in here that are dried. Um, so I think they're pretty much all in there and you can see quite a few under the log there. Um, but there were probably around 200 in the spawn. It was from a really big female. And um, yeah, so hopefully we can do this and I can show you the process, but with Calico or Calico bristlenose, that'll be really exciting. Okay, so acclimation is going to be quite simple. Uh, they've been in here for a little bit. Um, water's pretty much the same anyways. The woman didn't um, heat her water. I'm not going to heat this tank for a while. Um, so it's pretty much... Uh, 26 degrees Celsius, perfect. Um, the one thing I'm going to do is make sure that I don't introduce this water into my tank. This tank has been made from um, water and media from one of my tanks that I know has no diseases because I'm very meticulous with that sort of thing. Um, so this tank is good, it's pristine, hopefully. And um, yeah, so I'm going to make sure that no, none of this water goes in. I'm going to pour it into a bucket, into the net, um, and actually because 
they're so big and obviously they're pleco so they've got spines and things I don't want them to injure themselves I think I'm just going to gently pour them into a bucket then from the bucket I'm going to individually catch them out and put them in um, but yeah let's show you the process Okay, so they immediately went uh, to cover, but they are in there, safe and sound, which is all that matters. There's one tucked in the corner there. So they have quite a few options. So there's obviously three females and three males. So they have one, two, three, four, five caves, and then three PVC caves, um, just to, I don't know, make them feel a little bit more secure, I guess. Um, but hopefully there's not too much bickering with the breeding and if there is i'll just add some more caves because these are all homemade caves uh, that i made and yeah so should be good so they have quite ample uh, oxygenation here or aeration so i've put the fine bubbles right in front of the output to um, the output of the filter and you can see it's quite strong i don't know if you can really see that but the whole tank has uh, got a nice current going and then you can see it's quite dark at the moment let me just turn the light I've always used it with my discus and it's been really good so they should be very very happy in here um, I do want to eventually get more rocks for them that guy looks like he might be interested in a cave um, and I'm thinking of also introducing my albino bristlenose in here just so I have a, a big... Well, that's only one of the male and the rest are females. So um, that should be fine with breeding. And if they mix, so be it. I think al albinism is a um, recessive trait, so probably get all caligos. I'm not really sure how that works yet. I'm still learning. But yeah, well, let's, um, let's wrap up the video and yeah. Alrighty everyone, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, a little bit of a different video again. Um, let me know if you really like this video and if you want to see more like this. I didn't really want to film going to get the fish because uh, this woman is a little bit ill at the moment which is why she's getting out of the plecos I'm assuming and I just wanted to respect their privacy so just let me know if you wanted me to go and like get the fish and put that into a video. Um, I'm really keen to get this into a pleco tank, like a bristlenose tank for now, but super keen and keeping my eyes on the lookout, like hawk eyes, uh, for any L number pleco breeding colonies out there. I've already got my L201s, L397, so I'll probably have to make two of those for a little bit, um, but really looking into getting some more variety going with the plecos. Rams, um, it's not one of those things where I like been there done that I still want to do it I'm so passionate about rams but at the end of the day this is my hobby and I really want to I don't know I just really want to enjoy it and get that diversity that's that's why I love fish keeping so much is because you can have so many uh, different varieties of fish in an ecosystem that you create and you can enjoy them all and so even though I love having ram only tanks I prefer having a lot of other different fish so as you guys probably saw in my post I'm looking at oddball fish so I'm having a look at the wrestling half beaks I'm having a look at African butterfly fish and even freshwater pipe fish 
um, which is really exciting. They're a type of like, I think they're related to seahorses. So they have very similar uh, mating rituals and all of that. But we'll get to that in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And just put a comment down in the comment section down below. Always happy to have a chat with you guys. Um, just been very, very busy with the fish room. I've been moving tanks, which probably doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot of work draining tanks, cleaning them out, getting all the hardscape out. And I'm now back with even bigger and better plans. So definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already, so you guys can see those videos and be a part of our JFR community. Alright everyone, I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a really good holiday um, at the end of this year. And yeah, happy holidays. Cheers everyone. Bye.